Hey, my name is Tia Silvesi. I'm the Florida Friendly Landscaping Agent here at the University of Florida IFAS Extension in Orange County. Today we're going to look at some really cool native lakefront plants. These are aquatic plants and you can use them if you live on a lakefront, if you have a little bog garden or a water garden, uh, around retention ponds or any kind of wet spots in your yard. Some of these aquatic plants? Yeah. Great. So a lot of them come as a bare root plant. You can see that I'm in a one gallon pot and so they're usually fresh harvested and you can get plants at native nurseries or once you have them growing you can propagate your own. So these ones here are the pickerel weed and they're one of the most common plants. You can see this one is what it looks like in a hole, but usually you just pick off this front little part here. So then you can trim the leaves and you'll get a little plant right like this. So again, this one you could break into multiple plants right here, right like so. And then you have two plants, so that's how you propagate them. So I'm gonna do a little planting demonstration um, we have the pickerel weed, we have the spike rush. This one looks kind of like a grass and it's very nice and um, tall. And then we have some iris here, the native iris, and some duck potato. The duck potato gets the white flowers and this grows, you know, in the emergent zones of the lakefront. So I'll do the planting demo with these duck potatoes here. So here's a, here's a patch that we recently established and you can see the plants are on about a one foot center here and we have about 20 maybe 30 plants per clump. So when I do these designs I like to put you know the similar species in one clump and then leave a little um, blank area and then put in another species in a clump and I find that helps with the aesthetics and for maintenance purposes too so you can work around these areas. So here's how you plant them. We're going to just use a regular shovel and stick it into the ground and then we're going to insert the plant right behind the shovel and pull the shovel out and so once you have it planted in there you can step on it on both sides and that pretty much um, firms it in. So you can do this technique on the land, or you can also do it in the water. I'll demonstrate one here in the water next. And a little step, step, and Voila, there you go. After you plant them, you might notice some of the leaves will die a little bit. That's just a little bit of transplant shock. Don't worry about that. And look at this pretty flower here. Okay. So here I have the sand cord grass, and this is something that you would plant not in the water, but more upland of the water. So right about at the, um, the top line of where the water might get at the high level, that's where we would plant these. And these are great plants for protecting the shoreline because they have extensive root systems that will come down and help to stabilize the bank and reduce erosion. They'll help to filter nutrients and pollutants before entering the water bodies. So all these native aquatic plants, they help to keep the water bodies clean and clear. So we'd like to see a good coverage of vegetation.
So T wanted to show some aquatic plants in situ, including invasive plants and native plants. So the extension office is off of Conway Road in Orlando. So we drove to Warren Park in her cute little truck and uh, we launched into Lake Conway. Sometimes people manage it or eradicate it, but it is okay to have, you know, some small clumps of the cattails. Here we have an example of a shoreline planting that was done really nicely. You can see these clumps of duck potato, and even though they have a seawall and rocks, they have it vegetated the whole way down, so that helps keep the lakefront protected. talk to you about the zones of the lakefront. So here we have four different zones, you know, going from upland all the way to the deep water. The upland will be up on the ground, you know, above the high water mark, and you'll see plants like cypress trees, cabbage palms, um, maple trees. That's where you can plant that sand cord grass. And then once you start getting towards the water's edge, that's called the riparian zone. And you'll see plants there like the, um, the blue flag iris and the native canna. Um, these pickerweed here, this is a good example of the emergent plants. So they're growing in the water, but they have their leaves above the water. Um, further out from this, you can see in the deeper water, that's where the water lilies and the maiden cane grass grows. That's called the littoral zone. And then um, lastly, there's plants that are just underwater and we call those submerged plants. You know, we're here in Lake Conway and there's some beneficial plants like this Illinois pond weed. And this is a native beneficial um, submerged plant that's helping to keep the water clean. This is a good one. Also eelgrass is another beneficial submerged plant. All right, what a great day. I got to show you guys some cool native plants out in the lakefront. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you, Tia. Yeah, and there's so many plants, but the ones we really focus today, those are the ones that are good for, you know, commercially available, easy to find, easy to plant in any kind of little wet area. So yeah, I hope this gives everybody something to take home and, and do it themselves. Yeah, yeah. You All too right. can have an awesome shoreline. That's right, a beautiful lakefront. Yes, thank you for sharing your expertise. Great job, that was so fun. Yeah, thank you. 